Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. So, I picked up this leather holster for my uh, 9mm and it's supposed to be for most most guns. Well, um, it doesn't fit exactly. However, it does fit. Add a pair of scissors in there. Yes, I thought wrong. Okay, no problem. Steak knife will work just fine. Got to cut that little strap off of there. That worked. Okay, so my nine millimeter doesn't quite fit perfectly. Doesn't sit all the way down the way I want it to. The strap won't go all the way across unless I pull it back behind the there and I stretch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trick that I learned from my reenactor friends. Take leather and soak it in water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to form it perfectly to this particular pistol. And water is an enemy of guns. So, I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag. Right here. Slip that inside there. Tuck it all the way to the bottom. And that way it will fit right inside this holster. And it won't get wet. So, next step is to soak this holster with water. I'm using warm water and uh, the reason I know this works is pretty simple. I bought or got a pair of um, leather shoes for Christmas one year when I was a reenactor and I put them on and they were very uncomfortably tight so uh, I called a friend of mine and I asked him what I could do and he said uh, well what you do is you put your shoes on fill the bathtub with water and step into the bathtub and get those shoes good and wet. Now the gun goes in and I push it all the way down as tight as I want it to fit, nice and snug, and it will form, that leather will form around my pistol. So now I'll pull that strap down and get that snapped in and it fits really nicely. So, what we do now is wait for it to dry. Let this form, let that leather form around that pistol, nice and tight. And when it dries, it'll dry fairly stiff. So, I won't ever have to do this again. It'll fit really well all the time. Okay, so I've got it inside there. You see how I've kind of molded it around the pistol. So now all I have to do is wait for it to dry. And if I had some stuffing, I could wrap some stuffing around this and then tape it good and tight. And this would seal, fit in around the trigger on both sides. So let's what what let it dry and we'll wait and see. I'm sitting over at John T's camp and uh, he put a flag up. He and his reunion group are gathering today. Uh, they're motorcycle enthusiasts and uh, he's got a little camp set up here, fire pit, uh, bench uh, outside of his cabin. 
and they left his hometown and rode to the local town where they met at uh, the restaurant and had lunch and they're headed out here right now and most of them ride Harleys and I could hear them turn off of the main road onto the back road out here and it sounds like a freight train out on railroad tracks but there's no railroad tracks anywhere near here so I'm listening to them coming in and I don't know if you can hear them or not but they're on the property now they'll be rolling in here real soon <laughs> what an awesome sound that is just crazy you can hear them really well now And I'm sure John will be leading the pack. They're taking their time because it's a gravel road. And the speed limit is 15, even though most people out here don't uh, observe the 15 mile an hour speed limit. But uh, the first bike is coming around the horn down there on the end. So it'll be a few seconds. Um, don't know how many. But uh, yeah, here they come. I'm doing this primarily for John. There he is. First bike's here. There's the second one. There's the third one. And the fourth one. And a fifth one. And a sixth one. And a seventh one. And here comes the truck, the Big Mac. Awesome looking group. Awesome looking group. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I heard you guys turn off the main road. I've been sitting here waiting for you. And I thought, you know what, as soon as I hear them, they're going on video. So here we are at John's, this is John's group, a rough crowd, yeah, everyone I'm good Christian gentlemen, and I can say that with complete honesty. Okay guys, this is the Thursday night prayer group, and uh, they're from, All Saints, right on. and they're a group of motorcycle enthusiasts. And they've got Paddy Keller, who doesn't ride a motorcycle. However, he has his vintage Mack truck that has been in the family since it was brand new. These guys are a great bunch of Christian people. All of them. Mark and his wife with him. A great group of people. We had a great time out here at John's Country Cabin. And... Uh, Okay, so I want to show you this gun case or holster that I purchased and it is nearly dry. It's actually taken on the shape of my pistol, which is exactly what I expected it to do. So, you know, if you're going to if you're going to buy something in leather and it doesn't fit exactly the way you want it to, Soak it in water and then put it where it's supposed to fit. My shoes fit perfectly after I soaked them in water. I put them on, I took the, I soaked them, 
I took the wet socks off and I put a dry thick pair of socks back on and wore those shoes the rest of the day and by the way it was December 25th <laughs> when I did that they fit perfectly I wore the soles out on them I never ever got a blister from those shoes that's how you shape leather that's how you get it to form to what you want it to form now yeah there's still a ziplock on there because the inside of it's still a little damp and I do not want to rust a perfectly good pistol anyway this is Greg you've been watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors hope you enjoyed this video um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel make sure you click that bell icon to get notified whenever I put a new video up thanks for watching